Hey guys, this is Omer from MMOs.com and the quick first impressions gameplay video for Aeon Legions of War. A free to play a mobile RPG with some MMO elements slash hero collecting elements developed and published by NCSoft. It's about 10 to 15 minutes running around shaking this game out. Make some comments if you guys do want to play Aeon Legions of War or just learn more about it, do a little review on MMOs.com on the link below. So let's go and get started. It's already trying to summon some of this discounted energy. I want that premium shit. Get out of here, discount energy. And secret store shipments, close that out. It's already trying to sell me stuff, and I just completed the first mission, and that was it. And after you do that, you are in the game's little hub world. And if, if you, you probably see this screen a lot in a lot of different games. I know Heroes of Credible Tales has a similar screen like this, and as do a lot of mobile games. From here, you kind of go through your inventory, you, you do your gotcha pulls, you do your weapon upgrades and stuff, and you can also go to the game's core gameplay. And here, you click on Adventure to start doing that. If you played Heroes of Credible Tales or several of these other mobile games, a lot of it's... This one is actually level based, uh, linear progression. So we're going to do episode number one over here, and you can see your rewards. And you click on go, and we'll be go embarking on this mission. So it's not an MMORPG the way Aeon is. Instead, you complete a level, you get your grade on one to three stars, and then you go to the next level, and so forth. And you can grind levels for experience if you want. Again, very similar to a lot of other mobile, you know, quote unquote MMOs. It, it, it is based on the Aeon franchise, so you'll see some characters and places in the game from the PC MMORPG. So you can see these characters talking to each other on the screen. And I do want to say right away, the, the visuals are quite good. And there's actually voice acting in the game as well. So the production value is definitely there. I mean, Antisoft clearly spared no expense on making the production value for Aeon and Legion of War at least somewhat decent. Uh, they both console quality graphics. I'm not sure how true that is, but I think the graphics do look really good for a mobile game. Uh, when the skills interrupted, enemies may be inflicted with abnormal status. Click on this. Vicious Strike. There you go. Uh, the core combat is looks to be uh, turn-based. I only have a handful of buns I can do right now. Use Link skills on enemies inflicted with knockdown. Let's go ahead and do that. So there you go. We did a lot of damage. You can unlock other heroes as well. I only have my one base hero right now. But it does have a hero collector slash waifu collector style gameplay. I think there's a gotcha pull somewhere too. Who would do such a thing? Oh no, we can see our enemies over here. Oh man, they came out of nowhere. Alright, we're gonna go kill these guys too. We're getting a little bit of FPS stutter over here because I am playing an emulator. So I may not be playing perfectly. But graphically, I think the game looks quite good. Uh, the core combat right now isn't very uh, detailed. I would say actually a lot of these mobile games start off almost brain dead easy. Which I really don't like. But it's it's very normal and standard fare for a lot of these mobile MMOs. I'm not sure where the MMO elements come in either. Because uh, a lot of this you know turn based multiplayer stuff is going to be single player basically. Uh, Commander, Kandor, what's going on next? But uh, Heroes of Incredible Tales kind of had this similar system where you, you ran through levels and got rewarded 1 to 3 stars. And then you could you could talk to people in the persistent chat box or that lobby area. The game does advertise there's some massive multiplayer battles. So there's clearly some MMO elements somewhere in the game. Uh, if the game itself is not fully released just yet. I downloaded the APK and launched it through my emulator. I don't think you can find it on the, the app the stores just yet. So there you go. All the Silver Knights have arrived. She's my Silver Knight. The one on the left. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's that one on the right. I want to see her chat. Anyway, oh here, where's where's the lolly character? She's the lolly character. There we go. That's our character. So when you kill this giant robot, uh, our, by default, our dudes keep attacking on their own, and you can't like active dodge or anything. So it's it's basically you can just click on these buttons over here. Maybe there'll be some more options later on, but because it's the first mission, or rather like the first mission after the tutorial, it's going to be brain dead easy. A lot of these mobile games are when they first start. All right, easy kills over here. This guy's going down. Click on this as well. And again, the spell animations look quite good as well for a mobile game, especially. And I'm curious, I mean, if they're clearly trying to bring Aeon players on board, but it really doesn't have too much in common with Aeon, besides maybe some of the character names and the places, because Aeon is a traditional PC MMORPG with a persistent world. This is more, uh, you know, very similar along with most mobile uh, mobile games. So it's really few MMO actual elements here. Change to your point of view. So we kill this giant golem thing and we'll see what happens. More storytelling. Astria! Astria! The storytelling, again, the fact that they have English voice acting, it really shows that you know, they spare no expense in trying to flesh out at least a you know, decently budgeted good game. This guy's obviously no good. He's got a hood on. He's got like this gray skin. He talks like an asshole, too. You can tell he's evil. Like, I love characters that are so, so easily identifiable as evil. He's up to no good. All right, late. Oh, whoa. Almost got a good view. Not quite. This guy's going to fall very, very slowly. All right. Oh man, we're fighting Raven. You know he's you know he's evil because he can't even see his eyes. You're Raven. I can't believe you're actually alive. So th again, this is my level 40 guy. These are both like this is like some special tutorial stuff or special storytelling stuff. My guy's only level one. We have like all these level 40 party members right now. 
guess 40 might be the max. I don't know. I guess maybe, uh, I guess six stars is also the rarest. My dude is only two stars. So obviously it follows the same mentality as Fake Grand Order or basically any of these waifu collectors or hero collectors. The higher the star is typically the better. Master of Earth! We're gonna totally wreck everybody on the screen. The tank animation look pretty badass though. A lot of those effects look mega badass. Here's the, oh, I know, if Aeon players will be drawn to this. Honestly though, it doesn't have a, it's not a traditional MRPG, which is unfortunate, but it's, it's got pretty high production value so far. It looks pretty decent. Ah, uh, there's voice coming from the Confinity. Again, this is only episode one. I guess uh, once you do a couple of these, you'll actually start building your team the way you want. Obviously some of the skill and strategy will come from building a certain team with different, you know, each character I imagine is doing pros and cons. Kind of like, I guess, the fake grand order. Oh man, we get to see this waifu. All right. Nice, grasp the boobs. Give it a squeeze on the right hand. Oh man, what's going on? All right, more lasers coming at us. Play a lot of fancy games when you see lasers. Nice try, bro. The shield ain't gonna stop the laser. So, it looks. Oh like man, time has come. this guy is sacrificing himself for us, and we give no f's about this guy. You'll you can't have a character. Now. Get himself killed to save you and expect you to care about him when the game literally just started. Sorry, bro. Don't care. Don't care. Not even one iota. Later, bro. All right. First mission complete. You can see my resources. My guy leveled up. That wasn't really... I, that was kind of like a tutorial mission as well because we had these level 40 characters with us. Oh, there we go. Level 2 now. First clear. I got some... What? Does this take energy? Like I get more energy? Is there a stamina system? Please, no stamina. Click back to the fortress and from here we can, I guess, go back to... Uh, this is basically back, back to our hub area right now. When you enhance equipment, there's a chance to level increase by two or three. So a typical item enhancing system. Brother, because of me. Okay, we don't care, dude. All right, we can go right to the next level. We, we can see our challenges. What is that? Let's go check out this daily quest. Let's get some good shit over here. So we're getting, can we get these right now? All right, let's go get all these achievements. So you get some rewards for these achievements. Use 10 energy for that. Acquire two heroes. Apparently I have two heroes already. Yo, be quiet. I got this game. Let me go ahead and click on these. I gotta click on this, actually. There we go. Just grab this one. I got it. We got it. All right, tutorials everywhere. Tutorial for days. The first moment. There we go. Give me that 5,000 moolah. Is that premium money, too? Oh, that'd be nice. I like when games give you premium money from doing achievements or doing some stuff early on. So again, right from here, we can't, I guess maybe one of these might be PvP or maybe raid content. We can't do any of that stuff just yet. Those are all locked away. Let's go back to adventure. From here, we can see where we go next. And again, it does have this linear progression system, which I know a lot of people don't like, especially when something is called, I guess, an MMO. Well, this, I guess this is more of a standard hero collector with some MMO elements. And again, some massive, they, they, they said there's massive battles with other players. So hopefully we'll, we're not going to see any of that stuff right now. All right, we're going to go to back to the Dragon Frontier. I guess there's four levels over here. Nice, you can see your levels over here too. Kind of preferred if there was a persistent open world because so few mobile RPGs have those persistent open worlds. So it'd be nice to see it here. Oh, we got, we got Astria. Can't believe I'm in the abyss. All right, she's hot. You, oh, we got, we got Navi. What's up? But it's called uh, Flora. All right, sorry, we don't care about the story. All right, one to three stars and let's jump right in. So you can do normal, easy, easy, normal and hard. So we have to do this multiple times and then we can do normal. Uh, you get better rewards too if you do it in harder modes. So I'm gonna click on this, there you go. I do like that they, they, they give you better rewards doing something in harder. So you can see, we wanna do hell mode, hell yeah, let's do normal at least, we can handle it. All right game, get out of the tutorial, I wanna do it now. No, I wanna do, I wanna do it on normal. Okay, we can't do it yet. So the game doesn't want us to lose, so it's making us do it super easy mode. All right, we can take our, these are our characters and we just, Please select here. We got to click on all three of you. And you can see, I think you have what, five people per party it looks like. Are we good to go? All right, let's go. Let's rock. You can see my power versus their power. All right, we're good. Yeah, I think that's the green one is ours probably. We'll see what happens. I think we're going to win. It's the second mission of the game. Ain't no way we're losing on the Dragon Frontier. Automatic skills will be used. Automatic skills will be used automatically. Guys, who would have guessed that automatic skills would be used automatically? That is, that is news to me. Who could have guessed? So we'll see what this first actual level is like where you have to do things on our own. I suspect that a lot of the skill comes from organizing the party and, and grinding and upgrading your gear to the point where you can beat your enemies. Of course they would have wings. Well, I'm liking, look at that booty. Holy moly, new favorite character right there. Look at that booty on her. I'm liking it. Can we can we change the camera angle? Can we, unfortunately, we can't control the camera. We got to oh, we can't. Oh, yes, we can. Can we get a little closer? All right, this is the best we can do. We can see some of the booty. 
This is like Blade and Soul style booty. A plus. Really slick, really oily body. Look at the boot physics too at work. Life's blessing. So again, you can time your heals and some of the abilities, I guess, if you synergize them, you know, if you use them at different times, maybe in combo with you know, other people's abilities, it obviously has some kind of additional effect and maybe timing is important in that regard. But again, you're not going to be having any issues early on. Almost all of these games are super easy at the beginning. So this map only has two little stages, and I guess the boss at the end over here, the Barbaric Sorcerer. Alright, I'll crush you one by one. Again, I only have four abilities, I'm going to use them as soon as they come up. So give them a taunt order, so that's kind of cool. It'd be kind of cool if it kind of makes you click it really quickly, like give it two seconds to follow up. Like, it'd be kind of cool if we can order our guys to move around as well. So we have some more action elements, but I don't think it's trying to be an action game. It's trying to be a turn-based RPG, kind of like some classic JRPGs. But yeah, this is Aeon, Legion of War. Uh, clearly they put money to this though, they put the voice acting in, so it's some decent quality. Decent production value at least. Curious to see how it's going to do though. Vicious Strike. Right, after we kill this boss, we're going to call it. Even though, again, it's super easy. It's very div Oh, look at the again. A plus character model over there. I'm li I'm liking her. Hold on. Let's let's appreciate for a moment just how giant her boobs are. Like it's literally bigger than her face. Just one boob is literally bigger than her head. There are giant melons in this game. I like it. All right. They took the art direction from Blade and Soul. A plus. I approve. Uh, Leona, why would you ever befriend a person who is partially responsible for your brother's death? Oh, I don't know, bro. That's Ren and that's Leona, I guess. All right, I'm definitely liking Leona. Leona's a keeper. A plus. Victory, three stars. I don't think... How do you not get three stars at this point? I guess the, the these emeralds are the, the rarer currency. So all of our dudes gain experience for doing this. First clear, we get these goodies. So we get some RNG loot as well. We can sell that right at the beginning if we want. Or we can use it for our characters. So it took us only a minute to do this. We go right to the next stage if you want to keep grinding here. But yeah, this is uh, Aeon Legion of War. If you guys want to learn more about it or play it yourself, do check out the full review on Emos.com on the link below. Personally, uh, production value is there. It's very similar to other mobile uh, hero collectors, though, it seems. It's it's definitely a hero collector. At least when you had, you know, I guess, Heroes or Credible Tales, you had the action, you know, MMORPG element, but that was all autoplay anyway. So there is, there's, there is... I, there's no autoplay necessarily. You're, you guys automatically attack, but you did have to click on the individual skills as they came up. So th you can't just AFK completely beat it. Though I'm sure if you're grinding easy content, you know, you can. And it's got this sidekick system. I actually really hate this because I know um, Fate Grand Order has it as well. And basically so does Puzzle and Dragon and so many other games. So you can choose your friends to come with you, right, for these missions. and Or random people, not just your friends. So just like you know, your buddy system or sidekick system. This is where some of the multiplayer components uh, come from. I know, again, FGO has this as well. So these other people are actually players, these other heroes. So I can bring this, this chick with me, and she's level 40 with 37,000 attack power. So if I bring her with me, it's going to be unbelievably OP. And it's going to make all the content face real easy until I'm easily a few hours into the game. So... A lot of games have this, and I really hate it. It wants to add multiplayer components to it, but it also throws off the balance incredibly early on because just having an OP sidekick with you or a side character makes the content like no, have no meaning. You know, it, if you struggle through it, it feels rewarding when you do it, but when you bring this level 40 NPC with you, it becomes unfortunately pretty dead easy. But again, this is something we've seen in a lot of other games, so it's not just exclusively an Aeon issue. It's uh, I guess it's a mobile game issue, I would say. I mean, I, I get the trying to you know have people on your friends list you want to share heroes with them it's kind of it's a cool system and concept maybe it should only let you get heroes that are approximately your character's level that way it would at least make it a bit fair but yeah that's the game if you guys want to play or learn more about it check out the review on the most.com on the link below and we guys later